On September 15, 2024, the world witnessed a pivotal moment in Middle Eastern conflict as Yemen's armed forces launched the Palestine II hypersonic missile, striking deep into Israeli territory. This remarkable feat has stunned many as it penetrated Israel's world-renowned defense systems. In today's video, we'll explore the missile's specifications, how it bypassed the densest air defense in the world, and the regional consequences of this attack. The Palestine II is a cutting-edge hypersonic ballistic missile developed by Yemeni armed forces. Designed to challenge even the most sophisticated defense systems, it has a range of 2,150 kilometers and is powered by a two-stage solid-fuel propulsion system. This missile is capable of reaching speeds up to Mach 16, or around 12,300 miles per hour. Range, 2,150 kilometers, approximately 1,335 miles. Speed, Mach 16, 19,800 kilometers per hour. Fuel type, two-stage solid fuel. Features, incorporates stealth technology and high maneuverability to evade advanced air defense systems like Israel's Iron Dome. Unveiled by the Yemeni armed forces, the Palestine II is designed to challenge advanced air defense systems like Israel's Iron Dome, David's Sling, and the Arrow System. According to Yemeni armed forces claims, the Palestine II can maneuver during flight, making it difficult for interceptors to target effectively. This capability was highlighted when the missile reportedly flew from Yemen to central Israel in just 11 minutes. In the early hours of September 15, 2024, the Palestine II missile was launched from Yemen. Within 11 minutes and 30 seconds, it traveled over 2,040 kilometers and struck near Kafar Daniel, close to Ben Gurion Airport, a critical logistics hub in Israel. The missile was targeted at this airport, causing panic as millions of Israelis rushed to shelters. Despite Israeli defense systems, such as Iron Dome and Arrow, attempting interception, the missile bypassed all layers of defense. While Israeli officials claim partial interception, the missile reached its destination, revealing vulnerabilities in Israel's defense. Israel boasts one of the densest multi-layered air defense systems in the world, integrating systems like Iron Dome, David's Sling, and the Arrow Anti-Ballistic System. Yet, the Palestine II missile managed to slip through. The missile's combination of advanced stealth and hypersonic speed overwhelmed the Arrow System, which succeeded in hitting but failed to destroy the missile. The incident marks a significant moment, as even Israel's most advanced defense systems failed to stop it. Yemen's missile successfully bypassing Israel's defenses raises serious questions about the effectiveness of current anti-ballistic missile technology, especially against hypersonic missiles. For Yemeni armed forces, this attack serves multiple purposes. It showcases their growing military capabilities and strengthens their position within the regional axis of resistance against Israel. The Palestine II represents Yemen's growing capability to conduct long-range strikes, not only boosting their morale, but also positioning them as a serious threat to Israeli and U.S. interests in the region. Yemeni military officials emphasized that the missile attack was in support of the Palestinian cause, demonstrating solidarity and an ability to retaliate in a significant way. Leader of Yemen's Ansarullah, Abdul Malik al-Houthi, emphasized that operations would continue as long as aggression against Gaza persists. For Israel, the failure to fully intercept the Palestine II missile has significant repercussions. The incident has shaken public trust in the effectiveness of the country's air defense systems. Israel's prime minister has vowed retaliation but the psychological impact of this strike cannot be underestimated. This breach in Israeli security has led to a deeper crisis of trust among Israeli citizens, marking a potential shift in the balance of power. Israeli citizens, for the first time, faced the reality that even their densest defense systems are vulnerable to emerging hypersonic threats. The strike challenges Israel's deterrence capabilities, further complicating its defense posture in the face of regional threats. Yemen's successful use of the Palestine II hypersonic missile could shift the balance of power in the Middle East, 
the attack has already raised concerns among Israeli allies, and it could embolden other resistance movements like Hezbollah and Palestinian resistance to test Israel's defenses further. In conclusion, the launch of Yemen's Palestine II missile signifies a pivotal moment in the conflict. It highlights Yemen's growing capabilities while exposing vulnerabilities in Israel's defense systems. The attack has wide-reaching consequences, from military strategy to regional politics. What are your thoughts on Yemen's hypersonic missile and its impact on the conflict? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more updates on global military developments.